A lot of you have seen my pin loom squares and have asked me how hard is it to get started on a pin loom? How does one weave on a pin loom? So I'm going to show you, this is the little loom that I used. It is a shocked or shacked zoom loom. This is fingering weight yarn that I hold double. So this is actually a really easy loom to use because they have guides on the outside of it to help you with um, warping, winding on the yarn. So the first thing you do is you start at the number one and you latch your yarn into the notch down here and just hold it. You can tie a knot if you want to, I do not. So then you see the number one, you go through the number one all the way up to the top and you wrap it around the first two pegs. Now you're gonna come back down and wrap it around the last two pegs of this cluster, okay? Just like this. Go back up, wrap it around the right two pegs of this cluster. And you're just gonna keep going and doing that. You'll notice that I'm holding my thumb here because it helps keep the yarn steady while I'm warping. If I let go, I lose tension, it's easy for the yarn to come away, all that good stuff, or not so good stuff. So just going like this, pulling out more yarn as needed. And you can really use a lot of different yarns with this. I'm using fingering weight held double because I have a lot of sock yarns that I don't know what to do with, but I've also done this with Aran weight, one single strand of Aran weight. Um, you could probably do it, you know, lighter weights held together. It's really, really good for scraps. So you get all the way to the end here, in between these pegs, and you'll see that the, the you're gonna go all the way down, okay? And then you're gonna start, I turn the loom, you're not supposed to, but I turn the loom because I find it easier. And you're gonna start doing the same thing around the rightmost two pegs of each cluster. Okay, and so then I'm up to the three corner and you just follow the arrow. So I'm gonna start wrapping again as I come through here. I'm gonna be wrapping on the leftmost two pegs. So we're adding one more layer. Now you're back down to the number two corner again, okay? So, what are you gonna do now? You're gonna wrap this one, two, three, four, five times around the circumference of the loom. And that is how much yarn you are going to need to actually weave back and forth in these squares. So now I'm just gonna thread these strands through this really, really long pointy needle that came with the Zoom Loom. I'm gonna let those five wraps unwind. Okay, so now you're ready to start weaving. Here I am at the beginning of the row, and you'll notice that I did correct that one loop that was in the correct spot because I should have followed the guide arrows instead of just what I was thinking. So to start weaving, you start by going over the outermost loop, under the next one, over the next, under the next. And you're going to just keep following that over, under, over, under, over, under pattern all the way across. You want to make sure that you are going over strands that are currently sort of sitting up to the top of the work and that you sort of have to work to lift up the strands that are underneath. 
because right now you are securing the very edge of your square and if you do not go under or over the correct strands you will end up with a big loop on the end ask me how I know so once you get to the end of the row you go under your last one you can secure that tail if it's come out a little bit push the needle through just pull and it will weave the yarn all the way through for you now you're ready to begin the next row I turn my loom you don't have to you can leave it all facing the same way and I use my needle to separate the rows of yarn a little bit so I have more space to weave the needle through again you are just going over the outside loop under over under over under if you are using fingering weight doubled make sure that you are not splitting the strands as you go through you can see that I use my thumb to try to make this a little bit easier if it works just fine for you with just the needle go ahead but I use my thumb to sort of push each strand either out of the way or a little bit closer to the needle just to give me a little bit of extra help I also use the needle to uh, compress the rows a little bit in normal weaving this is called beading b-e-a-t-i-n-g not beading like beads and it also helps to separate things a tad if you are using two strands of yarn you might get that little loop on the end just give whichever strand of it is a tug ta-da problem solved so I'm separating my rows again and I'm going to show you one more row in real time. I am not speeding this up like I did with the warping. Just so you can get a good handle on how, um, how quickly it can be done. Because once you start getting the hang of this loom, it really is very fast and very easy. I was very slow on my first couple of squares. And I still don't consider myself to be super speedy. And I thought, zoom loom, that's ridiculous. I'm so slow. But you really can start to pick up speed fairly quickly once you get used to what you're doing. So again, just making sure that I'm catching all of the loops under the last one and pull through. And you think to yourself, this is great. I just finished my square. How in the world do I get this off? So what you're going to do is you're going to basically trace your same path back, but you're going over two strands and under two strands instead of just one and the other. And this is just to secure your tails. You can do it for the whole row. I do it for about two thirds of the row and then pull my strand through. And then this is why it's important to leave a long tail at the beginning, because you're going to go back and do the same thing with the tail that you started with. So you kind of go around the corner. See, I don't have that much left on my tail. You're gonna go around the corner and just over and under two strands at a time again until you get to halfway through, two thirds of the way through, whatever you feel like doing. For me, it's about two thirds and just pull your needle through. Getting the actual square off the loom is really easy. Just put your fingers on the back of it and push up. It'll start to pop off the pegs really easily. You can just lift it off. It's completely secure. Nothing is going to unravel. You have your tails on the back. Just take your scissors, give them a quick little snip. One, two, and there you go. You have a completed square that is fully ready to use. Ta-da! <laughs>